Hello everybody, this is Inglorious P back on the video today, and today I'm going to clarify my video from yesterday. Um, clarify, I guess, where my business stands. Um, kind of keep you guys in the loop on what what I'm what I'm thinking about and all that kind of stuff. Um, but before I do though, please like, comment, subscribe, let me know what y'all think below, and let's get into this. Number one, um, Fanatic spot tops last night. I don't want to be the 10,000th person to make the video and give their thoughts on it. It's all the same thing. Um, I honestly don't think that tops is going to change much. You know, I don't think this purchase is going to change much. I did expect this. This was my number one prediction. It happened immediately. Um, I expect Fanatics at a lot more card shows and events. Um, and, and that's kind of where it stands. Uh, I don't think it changes much. This We knew this was going to happen. It is what it is. The other thing I wanted to point out, everyone keeps writing this off, and that's fine. You can, and maybe I'm wrong. Maybe nothing happens. Again, I cannot stress enough, the owner of CSG is literally Michael Rubin, founder and executive chairman of Fanatics, Jay-Z's Rock Nation, Andre Daga, Iguodala, Daryl Morey. Um, if, you, know, you know, it's just, I get annoyed seeing people just completely write it off and it's funny the rumor has started literally i'm the one that started the i don't even call it a rumor i was just pointing out information and then people took it their own ways um i fully expect fanatics to be involved with csg somehow and even if it's not purchasing right it could just be a hey let's promote them on our next you know whatever it could just be working in tandem together, not even owning each other. Okay, so that I just wanted to point that out. You know, uh, just if if something happens, all I'm asking for is y'all subscription and comments below. Um, but I fully expect that to happen. Still clearing up my status though from yesterday's video. Um, I made a video where I point out how much money I made um, and spent. It ended up being essentially equal. First of all. The experience I gained is priceless. Before I talk about anything else, priceless. I I fully support anyone else that wants to start their own small business, whether it be cards or not. Um, it's a great learning experience, um, and the values you learn and the and all sorts of stuff is just priceless. Number two, I started with a hundred dollars roughly in 2020. Okay, I took that hundred dollars and I doubled it up um, on Dante Divincenzo cards okay and I kept flipping and flipping and along this past year and that was towards the end of 2020 2021 comes around and I'm still flipping stuff I have not added at ad my own additional money to any deals everything I'm doing is just out of flipped money okay so this past year I did not take twenty two thousand dollars out of my bank spend it on cards and then walk away making absolutely no money that's not what happened and again, another thing to add in, the money shown in revenues is cash that I have back in my hands right now, not $22,000 in assets, right? So a lot of people will show you net worth, right? So they'll buy a house for 50000 and then they'll, they'll say, well, I have $100,000 or whatever, $50,000. And it's like, no, you don't. You don't have the cash in hand. So regardless, going off topic and I'm ranting. And I'm raving. Um, so the, all the money, again, I cannot stress enough, is just flipped money over and over and over. It would make sense that the money I have is equal. What did I gain? Well, I added about four to 500 raw cards to get graded. They're all at CSG and PSA right now getting graded. Um, I have 300 items on my eBay, worth minimum a couple thousand dollars. I grew a Kevin Porter Jr. collection and a three-row box of longer-term investment holds. Um, I added to my PC, and then I added a PS4 with some games and controllers. So, I think I did pretty well. Now, that was step one of my business. And, and I make this, these videos really just for myself to keep record and tabs and all that stuff. And so here's kind of where it stands so last year the idea was I wasn't trying to make money last year and I should have really I should have made the video yesterday longer I got a bit lazy 
I think in my in my you know idea session if you want to call it that and my idea last year was let's just gain assets let's gain cards let's grow our collection okay and I did and I now have a bunch of cards getting graded that should be back this year at some point from both companies and you know I have an eBay now that's its own little system that's you know selling some stuff every every day and what do I do now so what is the next steps for my business last year I didn't really make any money but I didn't lose money and again this is all just flipped things I could sell everything I have now and walk away with a few a few thousand dollars the next step for this year last year was gain assets this year really is to start building that next layer of my pyramid okay so as mentioned I have four to five hundred raw cards getting graded right now okay that to me is my base these are all cards that are I think I have a couple nicer you know few hundred dollar cards but for the most part these are all twenty thirty fifty dollar cards maybe a couple hundred dollar cards so it's that bottom layer of my building I am planning to, this coming year, take that building and start to build that next layer, which is that mid-range stuff. Not exactly prism silvers, I'm talking more prism out of 199, optic out of 299, that kind of stuff. So the hope is over this next year, I start trading up or even just building that layer, figuring out how I can get into that next layer of stuff flipping and purchasing all that stuff um, I don't plan on cashing out and I don't expect this year to be too profitable I hope to at least make I think I'll make money this year I think at the end of this year I'll be looking back and owing a little bit on my taxes but that is the hope now here I guess I should make this a third video is kind of what how I'm planning to work this and I will but I just wanted to clarify for everybody I started with a hundred dollars in 2020 I flipped it and flipped it and flipped it made mistakes along the way definitely I made a lot of mistakes lost a lot of money on on the decline in sports cards but I am where I am now very happy with it uh, and I recommend to anybody to, to start working on this and, and building their business their brand however they want to do it so hope you all enjoyed the video hopefully this was insightful again Fanatics, we expected them to buy tops. CSG, I expect to partner with Fanatics. And just wanted to clean up my status. Appreciate y'all watching. I'll see you on the next video. Peace.